most one of the most weird and horrible experiences that I had in jail. Uh, generally, jail was a positive experience for me, but you know I could empathize with this guy. There was a guy in jail who was having a terrible time, and he had been brought into the holding tank. He was on bath salts, wow. and at least that's what he claimed later. Um, he and he was the kind of guy who would do other things too. So who knows what else he was on? But he was definitely on bath salts. And the dude was screaming at the top of his lungs, the most blood curdling scream <laughs> you can imagine. Take take the most blood curdling movie sound effects kind of foley scream that you would hear in a movie, like the best scream you could imagine, the most blood curdling scream, and then amplify it times ten. And that's what this guy was doing, and he w- wasn't stopping. So we were getting out of uh, the, the kitchen. I was in jail for civil disobedience for 60 days or thereabouts. And so we're coming out of the, you know, always go back into booking to change out of our clothes and change into a fresh pair of clothes after working for the day. They also want to search you as well. So, you know, you bend over and cough, that kind of thing. And during this whole process, this guy is screaming at the top of his lungs. We go out to wait in the waiting area for another guard to come take us back to the cell block. And the dude kind of mellowed out for a moment. He he regained some level of lucidity and, and sort of realized where he was and he was trying to talk to us. And it was just, you know, babbling kind of level nonsense. Really wasn't making much sense at all. But he'd at least stopped screaming for the for that moment. Later, we encountered that guy again. Uh, a couple days later, he was released. He was only protective custody or something. He didn't have anything on him. Sounds so, like he needed it, screaming at the top of his lungs like that. Yeah, and so with protective custody, they'll let you out after, you know, within 72 hours. Sober up. This guy got picked up again. This time he got brought into the cell block. He was tripping hard on some probable bath salts. He had ended up saying later that he had taken LSD and done bath salts on top of that. And this guy was doing the same kind of really outrageous yelling and screaming in the cell block this time. So he was there with us in the cell block. So before he was in hold, the holding area where there's just I'm the guards. He didn't get beaten up. Yeah. Um, it, well, no, he was in the observation room where they put the suicidal people. Okay. And so nobody could reach, you know, nobody could talk, talk to the guy. You couldn't uh, speak to him. You could look at him. You could, you know, you could try to speak to him. But the guards will yell at you, right? So you're not allowed to talk to the person who's in the observation room. And at one point I actually did talk to this guy I was walking around the the room, and he was doing all kinds of just dangerous stuff. This is not a room designed for uh, people in this state. Uh, you know, there's a lot of hard corners and edges that you could, oh, I don't know, bash your head off of if you were in a real crazy state. And this guy was, like, kind of falling down and hitting himself on his head. And it was scary and, like, horrible to watch this happen to this poor guy. He didn't deserve that happening to him. But it's not a, a compassionate place necessarily for people in, in that state. And as I'm walking around doing laps around the room, because that's something you do when you're in jail. Got yeah, nothing to um, do. It, you know, doing laps. The dude looks at me, makes eye contact, and, you know, kind of gets my attention, right? And so I, you know, I stop and, hey, what, what's going on, dude? Or say something to him. It's like... I know you from YouTube. <laughs> Dude knows who, knew who I was from having seen some Uh-oh. of the videos from you, Freekeen.com. You're really affecting the, 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 the sort of brain-addled <laughs> screaming man uh, demographic. That's awesome. Hey, it calmed him down, man. He was he was chilled out in the moment <laughs> that he was recognizing me and lucid enough to uh, to have that conversation. And then one of the guards bellowed at me to stop talking to him.